All right, so let's tie up the brassy, a simple little nymph. I would challenge you to tie this in like a size 14, but then start stepping it down, right? Step it down into those 18s. Really effective. That brass on the hook gives a little bit of extra weight, gives it that flash, that little rib structure that you'll see on the thorax of many nymphs in the water. So let's tie up the brassy. I've got to remind you, two things, three things. I've got a newsletter. I'll put that down below. You can sign up at How to Fly Fish, How to Fly Fish. And I also have a uh, article on the Brassy on my website, Guide Recommended. I'll have that link below as well. Um, on there, you'll learn how to fish this guy. Plus, you'll get the download of the ingredients, a close-up picture, all that good stuff of the Brassy. So let's get into some really close-ups. I was playing with the camera when I made this. And then, all right, our number 14 wet fly hook. You know what? I'm going to show you a difference. So that's a wet fly. All right, 14 dry, 14 wet. That's the difference between those two hooks. So we put our size 14 nymph hook, get our black thread. Again, starting back about an eye, eye and a half on the shank. Wrap back to our barb, copper, pinching on. Here's one of our skills that we're learning. It's really that tying in that becomes a skill. Okay, one, two, three. All right, let's wrap forward. I have a quarter inch of that copper on there. Right? I like putting on a little dribble of head cement. Copper will easily pull out of the thread. Start wrapping that forward. At my tying spot, tie it in, put my old scissors, push that down, wrap, peacock curl, two or three peacock curls with our white ends together, thread in there, right. cut those off. Nice and even. Here's the skill you're learning. Tying in tiny things, right? So pinching, right? Laying it on. Pinching it and laying it on to our hook, right? Wrapping it over, loose. Wrapping it over, loose again. I'm going to go one more. Right? So I got that tied in. Three more turns. Wrap it around that thread. You don't need much. I use it go back once and then start wrapping forward. Tie it in. to hold everything that thread intertwined with that hurl will strengthen the peacock curl incredibly so there's one half hitch let's get our half hitch out again
begin to finely place our head cement bobkin. Tighten this down. All right, a little hack. If you have, this is that caulking like filler. So if you got a crack or something that you need to fill a big gap, you can get this uh, foam. I have used this stuff for holding my flies while the head cement is drying. Plus it allows me to find them later, right? If I just set them on the bench, they easily disappear. All right, so that was tying the brassy. Super effective little nymph. What I love so much about it, it's fast to tie, simple ingredients list, right? You got black thread, you got your hook, you got your copper wire and some, some peacock curl, simple. So subscribe.